IOG, also known as Input Output Global, is taking a step in a brand new direction with the release of a platform called RealFi. Now, there's an official website. We're going to take a look at that here as a part of today's video. But in a nutshell, it's going to be a data analytics or an analysis platform in order to identify potential investment or, or credit providing opportunities in the brand new emerging markets sector. Diving right on in, we've got a post that was just released by the official input output Twitter account stating, we're proud to introduce RealFi underscore CO, a data analytics and decision-making tools platform for users interested in emerging market opportunities. Now, RealFi has the goal of providing tools to users to help them unlock private credit opportunities while also supporting the growth of small businesses in the global south. The official website is available at realfi.co. Now, jumping over to this next tab here, the Twitter page here for RealFi is completely brand new. Only one actual post, which I just showed you guys there, with a little bit over 180 followers. Moving over to the official website, which can be found at realfi.co, they do have a blog section, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about. But if I take a look at just about what actually is RealFi, it states that, that their vision is to empower users with tools that they can use to discover and support the growth of underbanked businesses in emerging markets. They've actually already shared two sort of success stories here. For the sake of time, I won't break them down, but... It's basically providing opportunities where people are underserved. So what this actually reminds me of is a platform, for example, like World Mobile, where their job is to connect or their mission is to connect the unconnected. Now, of course, Cardano has also had a very similar slogan aiming to bank the unbanked and to basically just provide equality freedom and accessibility to people that have historically not had the opportunity to have a level playing field. So to be able to use a platform like RealFi, potentially identify countries, regions, and even businesses, right, that are obviously providing a value, but then also are in need of potential loans or credit, you could tap into that while obviously, you know, making sure to understand the risk, but helping somebody else at the same exact time. So if you guys do want to find out more about them, the official website is available at realfi.co. Let's jump back in here and just quickly round out this video where they talk about three things that they provide. Number one is their financial analysis tools, where it states that RealFi's dynamic modeling tools enable users to stress test funding opportunities, helping them to better understand potential risks and rewards. Number two, they have a credit analysis tool platform as well where this will help you get a better or more granular view of how a business is performing and potential warning signs before it's too late. Number three, they're gonna be providing an impact analysis tool, which allows for you to measure the impact of your investment and the potential outcome. So those are three of the different features or three of the core services that RealFi will be providing. Here we've got some screenshots that were also released there on the official website. We've got a review of the impact summary, again, trying to better understand exactly how impactful a potential investment in some of these smaller businesses or emerging markets has performed year to date. Moving over, we have the risk analysis here, again, trying to make sure that before you invest that you understand the potential upside, but then also the potential downside, because again, nothing is guaranteed, especially in blockchain and crypto. And then last but not least, we've got the performance here, basically allowing you to quickly track how well a recent investment might actually be doing. Now, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. I want to quickly touch on the team, and then I want to round out today's video by touching on a recent blog article, basically highlighting where RealFi aims to fit within the banking the unbanked slogan. So it states here, RealFi platform aims to work with leading fintech lenders across emerging markets, which includes 4G Capital, which was founded back in 2013, which lends to micro enterprises operating in the informal sector of Kenya and Uganda. Again, just tying a relationship back over to something like World Mobile, as well as even Empower, really trying to bring affordable housing within Kenya and Mozambique. Of course, World Mobile launching their first ever aerostat in Mozambique. They've also got some groundwork and infrastructure laid out in Zanzibar. So a shift in a focus back into Africa, which I think was one of the early focuses back when Cardano was actually announced. Now, speaking of Cardano, I've done a lot of scanning on this platform and surprisingly, not a single mention of blockchain 
or the actual word Cardano. So it's interesting because obviously IOG was the person that put this out and they're sort of targeting or trafficking and funneling the Cardano community into the RealFi platform, giving them exposure. But there's been no direct correlation or no direct mention of blockchain or Cardano, at least to my knowledge. If you've seen anything else, make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. But that is something that I have gone ahead and noticed. Jumping back in here, we've got some key achievements here when it comes to the 4G capital platform with over $400 million of capital deployed, 3 million loans approved, 74% of them being female customers with over 165 branches. Now, this looks like they're going to be trying to take a global approach, not just focusing on the African continent alone. And of course, here, if you jump onto the website, you can read into some of these more recent success stories. Now, at the very bottom here, there is a little bit surrounding the team. Let's see here if I can actually find out more about them. If I jump over to the about page, let's see, here they are. So we've got John O'Connor, the CEO, Dinal Patel, their chief product officer. Um, a, a lot of interesting faces here. Now, there are, let's see here, no mentions again of blockchain or Cardano or just any people that I personally recognize from IOG as it stands. Of course, if you recognize somebody else, go ahead and leave a comment down below. What's interesting, though, is we do have Kadist Haley here, who may be related to Hannah Haley, who was a member of the World Mobile team. Now, she did recently offboard. Again, just speculation here on my end. They do look pretty uh, similar, so they could potentially be sisters here as well. All right, jumping over into the last piece for today's video, there is a blog article here written by John O'Connor, their CEO. I'll be diving into a little bit of his background here moving forward in case there are updates surrounding RealFi. So it states here the problem where there are small and medium-sized businesses or enterprises called SMEs for short, which generate 70% of jobs in emerging markets. However, they lack access to credit, severely restricted or severely restricting their growth. Now, in a new generation of fintech entities, we're beginning or seeing platforms like RealFi um, coming out of the woodworks in order to fill the gap. So it breaks down some of the services that they go ahead and provide where it states RealFi offers a suite of tools that help users demystify, build trust and facilitate private credit opportunities in emerging markets. So again, they're providing you with the tools and hopefully right measures of contacting and then being able to invest in some of these smaller businesses. Some of the tools include access to financial statements, which include critical or which are critical in assessing the health of a fintech leader or fintech lender, excuse me, that creates a loan portfolio. There's also loan tapes, a raw data export of every transaction between a fintech lender and their end borrowers in real time, providing insights into current borrowing behavior. Last but not least, they'll be providing a dynamic financial model, which is a framework that enables users to stress test funding opportunities and better understand potential risks and rewards. So again, an analysis or analytical platform when it comes to better understanding the opportunities and the risks in investing or loaning out credit in the emerging market sector. That will do it here for today's brief update, highlighting the RealFi platform. Again, the website is available at realfi.co. Go ahead and check them out. Again, I'll be doing my due diligence, but I wanted to go ahead and just quickly bring this to the forefront. This was just released a couple of hours ago and I hope you guys found it to be useful. If you did, as always, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by Dapp Central and you want more content like this, highlighting everything going on in the Cardano and blockchain space, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me surrounding Cardano, IOG, or RealFi, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.